kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my another video, and it will be the part 17 of my video series on audio video calling app using Firebase in Android Studio. Alright, guys, since I already told you that we will start working on the profile fragment active uh, fr fr on the fr profile fragment. Sorry, so let me open the profile fragment here and let me see the content points which we did inside our uh, this XML file. We have the picture which we, we will do it in the last parts of our video series, and then we have the username and then we have to this email and we have to update so basically this update will work only for the picture so we will we won't be using this update button for now but we will do that in a later part of our video series so right now in this video we are only we will only work on the pro, on the profile fragment and here we will try to display the username of the profile of the user and then we will be showing the email of here and it will be disabled because the user won't be able to change his email okay so how we are going to do so first of all here we have to add some view so here we have the text view let me see where it is yes it's a text view and its id is username text then we will have let me just write text view here we have text view text view user name and let me write bind view and that's how it will work and then we have the inside our let me see where it is okay so it's a text input edit text so hey text input edit text uh, ed email and then here inside our own view created we are going to use the butter knife to initialize this library and here we are going to use this and view all right and then after this what how are we going to what are we going to do so first of all we are we need the firebase authentication as well as the firebase user so for this firebase out and we can say out and then we can say firebase user fp user okay so uh, right after this we are going to use fb auth uh, sorry auth equal to firebase auth dot get instance then we are going to use the fp user fp user equal to auth dot get current user and then how what are we going to do first of here now we are going to use a database reference so for this we can say database reference db ref and then we are going to initialize it so let me go here and let me write db ref equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and so first of all our child will be user then we have to use the id of that child so for this we can easily get it by using fb user dot get current get user get uid and then we can say db ref dot keep sync and it will be true then we can say db ref dot add single value event listener new value event listener and inside this value event listener we are going to use uh, we are going to fetch all the data so for this how are we going to do so let me just write inside uh, the id uh, i mean the model so here we will create a model class of type user so we are going to write private string id and then we are going to use okay so we are going to id email then we have to use username then image url then status and search okay and then we have to write public user because a sing, uh, an empty constructor is required for this model class if we want to use it with the firebase so here we will generate the constructor that will contain all these values and then we are going to only use the getter for each of these values so here let me just 
click ok and there we have this uh, ok so now we are here inside our own data change so here we are going to use user equal to and here we can say snapshot dot get value and here we are going to write user dot class so now we have the specific user from our user database then here we can simply say if user is not equal to null then we are going to write text view username dot set text and we can say username dot get username and for the ed email we can say set text it will be user dot get email and we have to disable it so we can say set enabled it will be false okay and inside this on cancelled method we are going to display a toast message get context some error occurred and we are going to write dot show all right that's how our uh, profile fragment will look like and let me just run the application and also let me just write uh, next okay so here we have the firebase uh, console and here we have the real-time database since we do not have any login here so we will recreate the logins so okay let me open the samsung flow and now our phone is connected okay so now our application is uh, not running it has crashed so let me see what's the issue of our application that has been crashed let me run it again okay so the application key must not be must not be null so for that okay let me just uh, close uh, my app from here because it's already installed in my phone so i will just click uninstall and then we can something we can write something here so let me just write rerun it again Yes, now our application is running. We will click on register, then we will write a name like here. Then we have to write email. Then we have to create on create account and it says that user could not be logged in let me change my email okay so it says that user could not be logged in so let me see what's the problem here okay everything is fine but i am not being able to log in or create the or create the account so let me see i will have to go to my register activity user could not be logged in let me just check what's the issue here so i will click on create account again okay i think i have to reinstall the app and yes now our application is running again let me just write abc at gmail.com then i set the password
yes now our application uh, the the user is successfully created his account but let me see the error okay so it's error inside our home screen user id must be set okay so the user id must be set let me see where it is okay so we have to set a user id and that user id will be fb user dot get user id all right so now if we try to run the app so it will work and i if i refresh it you can, will be able to see the login and also inside our real time database you will be able to see okay so now when we run the application it's fine we have the user id and inside that we have the values and here we have these three fragments and here inside our frag profile fragment we are able to see this email and we are not able to see the username because we have the name here okay so we have to change that so let me just go back here and let me write uh, inside our where is model this is user class and instead of this username we are only we will only use the name here okay get name and we have to return the name here as well so now if we rerun the app okay so here we will use the get name so that's now our application will work so now if we open the our application and if we go to our profile then we are able to see the name of the user all right guys so i think that it's enough now for this video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye